Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is City Hall. I have a Ableton tutorial for you guys. This is how to achieve a note repeat effect very precisely using an arpeggiator and dummy clips. Let's get to it. Uh, so the first thing is make sure that you guys have a MIDI track and get either a drum kit or an instrument. I just chose a drum kit. And uh, yeah, so you can definitely tell that I'm playing live on that right now. Um, the next thing you need to do is you need to go into your MIDI effects folder, go into our, your arpeggiator folder, and, you know, grab a note repeater if you guys are on 9. If not, just grab an arpeggiator, uh, put it before whatever instrument you're using, like I've done here, and I'm going to turn the one that I've selected on. If you're on 9, just grab the note repeater, it works fine. Uh, if you don't have 9 or using something else, just uh, make sure that your steps are set to 0, distance is set to 0, uh, that your retrigger is set to note, and that sync is turned on, and that should do everything you need it to do. And make sure you're not doing anything crazy with the style, unless you're doing it on purpose. But other than that, grab an arpeggiator, uh, put it before the kit that you're using, and then see what actually happens. So I went from live to this. So obviously that's a pretty significant difference and it's kind of cool, but we want to make sure that we can do it very controlled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click on the track that I actually have my uh, arpeggiator and kit on, go into your envelopes, Make sure that you have your arpeggiator set, then go into this next one down and make sure that you're selecting sync rate. From here, go to your quantize and go to one bar, so that way that uh, your one bar clip that you just set by default is going to be completely set to one setting. And this is going to allow you to very precisely set where your clips are. So I'm going to set this one to 24 and then I'm going to duplicate it a couple times. So the next one I'm going to set to 48. The one after that we're going to set to 64 and I'm actually going to drag this one up and we're going to set it a little bit slower, 16th, sounds good. So once I have that set up, uh, then you can play the instrument that you want, but you can also change the arpeggiation rate uh, that you're using as your note repeater. So right now I'm going to use my launch pad instead of clicking on the different pads, but if you watch right here, you'll be able to see what I'm actually changing. So yeah, it sounds something like this. So it's actually pretty versatile. Um, but the one thing uh, that's kind of the downside of this technique is that uh, clips can't record themselves. So what we have to do is we have to create another track, which I've already done, and it's, uh, it's a MIDI track. And make sure that you have the MIDI from selected to the track that you actually have your dummy clips on. Mine is called Repeat, so I've selected MIDI from repeat and I'm going to turn this track off turn this track on and I have another instrument loaded up actually and so you can definitely see that there's some function there and it's pretty cool and also rerouting lets you record things so still using my launch pad, I can actually launch a clip to start recording. Go completely crazy with all my MIDI note variation. And it's going to save absolutely all of it. So yeah. 
kind of cool. Yeah, I'm City Hall. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Check me out on SoundCloud, Twitter, all that good stuff. Check out my other videos on YouTube. Upvote me. Yeah, all that good stuff. Peace.